joined by Candice Bass Robinson on this edition of Perfectly Placed to chat about the runners at Hollywood Vets Durbanville on Saturday, the 12th of October. Candice, as always, thank you so much for your time. We kick off nice and early with number eight, Major Master, in the first race on the card. Very pleasing debut. What can we expect first uh, in the first race on the card? Yeah, very nice debut from him. Alistair is a lovely horse, um, big strapping colt. Um, Probably going to be get 2,000 meters later on, I would think. Um, yeah, there's not a lot I can tell you about him other than, you know, you, you saw his first debut run. Um, he, uh, he's come on from that run a bit. He's not the greatest worker in the sand at home. Um, I think he's a much better horse on the grass, so it's a little tricky to, at home to to make a proper assessment of him. But uh, he's a lovely horse, and uh, I think if he's, he, makes the, he makes the um, necessary improvement, he must be a big runner there. Then on to race number two, we got a few runners. Let's start with number two, Winter Gamble. First start was okay. Any hope of building from that? Yeah, she. Um, I don't think Durbanville's the right track for her. Um, Alice, I think she'll be much better suited to Kenilworth, but oh God, she needs to have another run before we go there now. So she's a, she's a filly, she's not the, not got the best legs in the world, and I think she's not really suited to that tight course. But she has got ability. She does show at home that she does have, but uh, I think we'll see the best of her at Kenilworth, not so much Durbanville. Number six in Debe Maibuya has shown hints that a maiden win might be around the corner, also hints that a maiden win might be quite far away. Which version are we going to get you? I don't actually know because she shows so much at home. Her work at home is really good and uh, she's been a bit disappointing coming to the track, barring that one run actually um, at Kenilworth where she showed uh, quite a bit of improvement going over a little bit further. Um, last time she, she raced pretty hard all the way, um, so I think brought her back to a 14 this time and maybe given a little bit more of a chance. She definitely is better than, um, she certainly is better at home than what she's showing on paper so hopefully a better run and then your next two also number 12 diamond bomber better last run should she confirm that no much better last run unfortunately she's not drawn that well she's drawn 12. um it's always tricky from durmville at durmville with a bad draw um she's come on nicely at home and uh, she certainly is a filly that will have a good each way chance but obviously going to be draw dependent and then number 13 superior any hope of improvement from her um I, she's going to have to show a bit more for improvement. I don't think a, a, a wide draw is going to help her either. Um, Alistair, she's a very small little filly and um, just trying to get something out of her. So, But I can't be that confident from that draw. Mm. Then on to the third race on the card. Got a couple of runners. Number two, Master of the Desert. I think he's a winner in waiting. Do you think he can finally put it all together here? Knocking on the door. I think um, trip-wise this should be better for him. Um, he, he desperately needs to be gelded as well. So I think hopefully we can get a win under the belt and I can get him gelded and we can go on from there. But uh, it's a horse, not a horse that I can trust 100%. Um, I thought he would be, do a little bit better than what he did last time, but I think uh, he should have a good chance anyway. Interesting number 11, Southern Express, well-bred son of Buffalo Bill Cody. First run is a gelding. He's a well-bred horse. Um, been given the time off. Any laugh there? No, I think I just started him a bit too early. Um, he was showing a bit earlier on and then he was very green first time out and he didn't really show much at all. Um, he shows quite a bit at home. Um, he's got one or two little things that I, I just can't really work out with him, uh, Alistair. He's, um, he's uh, a little bit... Not that he stumbles a lot, but he's, a, he's I think he's a little bit hyperflexive in his knees. So he's a little bit tricky to um, to assess like that. I'm hoping that the Durnville track is not going to be a problem. Um, but he certainly has matured a bit more than what he had before. But uh, I'd like to see how he comes on the second round. Then a last break until the sixth race. We've got two runners. I'm particularly keen on number two, Heliotrope. Sean Veal takes her out. Ran with boys last time, coming back from a layoff. What are your expectations here? Yeah, she was a good run from her last time. I think she was unlucky not to win. She was finishing well late. Um, she's a kind of filly that's looking for a, a little bit further, but I think 1800 will be fine for her. Um, she's the kind of filly that never showed much of her, but she's improving with every run. Nice staying type of filly and uh, she must be competitive. And then the same race, number three, St. Bridget. First run out the maiden is not bad, second run out the maiden is not too good. Where is she at? Yeah, she was pulling a bit last time um, and I don't think Anthony, um, she could get the best out of her. So I think you could probably put a line through that run. She's a very tall, light filly, um, Alistair, and uh, not the easiest to train at the moment. I think she needs to strengthen up a little bit more. But I think if she settles better in the running this time, she should run a better race. Race seven, number six, Scarlett McCaw. Her maiden form has worked out very nasty. Were you surprised with the post-maiden run? Very nice run from her post-maiden. Um, and so she was finishing well. Um, she's a filly that's really surprised. I mean, she's not a whole lot to look at and uh, she never runs a bad race from her from day one. Um, she's doing really well at home. It's quite a competitive field. I don't think it's the easiest of fields on the card, but uh, if she brings that last performance, um, she too must be in with a good each way chance. And then the last race on the card, Captain Arrow, very nice comeback run, coming back from a break, beating Goodfield. 
Obviously bigger fish to fry this summer, but uh, can he do any more damage on Saturday? I'm hoping so. I think it looks like a nice type of race for him again. Um, he, he won he won particularly well. He's he's doing well at home. Um, you know, he's a, he's a horse that I think he's very versatile. He'll enjoy Kenilworth or Durnbull. He's got ability. Um, and as I say, a nice type of race for him. So he must be in with a chance again. Thank you as always, Candice. Pleasure.